Good evening and welcome to Hazen Union, home of the Wildcats. Quarterfinal action tonight. It is your Hazen Union Wildcat boys taking on the White River Valley Wildcats. Whenever this game goes on to the odd next Thursday, September 9th. Lance Hall with the call. Kurt on camera. HCTV channel 1080 on the Kippendale Streaming Worldwide Archive at www.hctv.us. Sponsors, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Prez going up, gets fouled, he's going to go to the line. Cats come out. I don't know a whole lot about this White River Valley team. Coming up from Royalton. I know they were a number seven seed. He's in at number two. Prez off the front of the rim. Second shot goes down for Lincoln Mitchell. One of three seniors, Tyler and Jaden, out on the floor. Last home game for those that trio. And what a trio it's been. Soft shot taken by Xander Clark. Gives White River the 2-1 lead. White River also the Wildcats. So I'll call them White River, and I'll call us Hazen or the Cats or the home team or whatever it takes. Kurt on camera. Brendan Moody. Knocking down threes as only he can. Cats up 4-2. Nice pass inside. Can't quite handle it. Wyatt Caldwell. Cadwell trying to come down on that pass. White River looking inbounds under their own hoop. Getting it in. Turn around. Prez right there. That was Tayton Griffin. Putting one in over the Prez. 4-4 tie. Cats with a press break. X swings it over. Moody back to X. Hazen looking to go back to back. Championship seasons. X puts up the three. X man. Xavier Hill, 7 4 lead. Want to put out a big shout out to our Lady Cats last night who came up a little short against Thetford, but in the semifinal of the Division Three girls tournament. But a, still a fine, fine season. 20 and 2, won 20 games in a row. Uh, unfortunately, the only two games they lost were their first one and the last one. But uh, what a season it was. Just a fantastic thing. Uh, Shot and a foul for Tayton Griffin. Referee Jim Francis rings up uh, Brendan Moody for the foul. But uh, JV went undefeated. JV girls that did went undefeated this year. The girls only lost those two games. The future of Lady Cat basketball is bright, and they are over in the student section tonight cheering on the boys. Griffin completes the three-pointer the old-fashioned way. Five points for the junior. Cats get to practice their press break. X over Lincoln Mitchin for the short shot. Rainbow's over. Coming down with the rebound was uh, Braden Russ. Cats inbound. 5.43. Left to go here in the first, 7-7 seven, seven tie. Should be a good game here from the Den. White River Valley located down in Royalton. Straight shot up I-89, then Route 14 to get here. Tyler can't quite handle that one. Bodies on the floor. Going to have a jump ball possession arrow. We'll give the ball to White River. Coach DJ Craven wanted a foul. Glenn Jingris with the explanation, which Coach Craven accepts. Setting the screen, Baker gets around and sets the second screen. 
And a lot of elbow by Donovan Craven. He was trying to work inside against Tyler. Almost a, almost a forearm shiver on that play going in. Here come the Cats. Pass over Moody. I think, uh, I think White River got a handle on that. Here comes X. Not good on that one. Tyler with the rebound. Four, four green jerseys around him. Pitch it back out. Baker for the three. And White River going to be called for a foul. With authority. Second foul called on Xander Clark. With authority by Glenn Jingris. And Gabe Mitch is going to check in. We're going to trade a Mitch for a Mitch Gabe for Lincoln. Gabe, the big blue ox. Give us some more bodies inside there, trying to clear out a lot of traffic underneath there. Inside, Tyler can't get that one to fall. They've almost had a patented play on that all season on an inbound. So still 7-7, 4.44 left to go in the first. White River try three. Make a three. Xander Clark, five points for the sophomore. And Tyler gets rung up for a travel on the pass. Coach Hill, tell him, calm it down, just some nerves. Some nerves out there, shuffled his feet. He's out in the hallway with the boys when they were getting ready to come in here. I mean, they are like. And Coach DJ Craven wants a timeout as his team has taken a 10-7 lead with 4.34 left to go here in the first. And I'll tell you, White River has brought a crowd with them tonight. I think this is the most crowded I have seen the opposing side all year. Game time, of course, was moved up an hour with the storm approaching tonight. And the White River crowd is up and cheering. White River up 10-7. Once again, 434 left to go in the first. Inbounding under their own basket after the travel called on Tyler as they were trying to break the press there. Up. Tayton Griffin, seven points. Baker on the far side, whips it in. Tyler. Tyler Rivard has made his living inside his whole career. I don't think he's shot a three-pointer. I don't think he's made a three-pointer since, like, his freshman year. In and out, three-pointer for White River. Comes down with a rebound, though. Surrounded. Up. Gets the roller. Wyatt Cadwell. Nice play underneath. Baker on the far side. Once again, 350 left. Catch trail by five. Tyler not getting in there. They're going to call a foul. Foul called on Gabe Mitchell and Braden White checks in for White River. Give him a big body inside to compete with Tyler, maybe. Here's Braden Russ on the far side, gets it over. Making his presence known immediately was uh, White. Shot goes over. Cats looking to get a hoop here. Trailing by five. Moody, Brendan Moody makes it a two-point game with that three-pointer with 3.15 left. Katz will press now, and Moody's going to get called up, and Coach isn't happy with him. Brendan, a sophomore, learning. Second foul, and the Prez will come back in. Brendan's going to take a seat for a minute with 3.12 left to go in the first. And Hazen trailing by two. White River up 14-12. Fantastic game so far. Full house here at the Den tonight. A full house. Thought about taking it. Inside, taken away. 
Down, bodies down, ball still ping pong around. Baker's going to come up with it in the end. X inside for Mitchell. Back out to Gabe, and he got fouled. Foul going to be called, I believe, on Braden Russ. Physical, fast paced game tonight here at the Den. Get your popcorn ready. Baker inside. And Braden, Braden White, I think, is going to get rung up on that one. Braden White called on the foul. Cats will line it up, try it again. 2.44 left to go in the first, trailing by two. Inside, Gabe can't get it to go. Saved by Hazen and knocked out. I believe it was Cadwell in there. Braden White, second foul. Tyler off the glass, short, gets his own rebound, stripped, gets it back, tie up. Possession arrow is going to give the ball to Hazen. I'll tell you, Coach Craven down there is coaching. Aggressive. Baker here on the near side. Swings it out. X. Baker. There's Gabe. Back across. White Rivers. Quick. Quick on D. There's the, there's the body inside with White on Tyler. X fights his way in. Beautiful move by the X-Man to tie this game up at 14 apiece with 2.10 left to go in the first. Almost taken away. Three-pointer by Tayton Griffin. Ten points for Tayton Griffin in this first quarter. Baker gets fouled. Foul called on Donovan Craven, his second. Send Jaden Baker to the line. Catch trail by three. Back and forth, seesaw action here in the first quarter. Baker first shot off. I do not like leaving points at the foul line. Those can come back to haunt you. Two points left at the line. Let's hope we can get those back. Be trailing by one. Instead, we're still trailing by three. I don't think we want to get down to these guys too much tonight. Tyler, I'll call a travel. Referee John Diebold with a travel call. Thought there were going to be a Tyler on a bump. Zach Frary in for White River. X. X. Avier, Hill, second three-pointer, second three-pointer, ties it up 17 apiece. 120 left to go in the first quarter. Up ahead, Tyler, block that one down, clean block. Here comes Baker, 115, gets it over. X going to line up, pop another three. X-Man, Xavier Hill, turning it loose from three-point lane. Land, Wildcats lead 2017. One minute left to go in the first. Here's Frary, gets it over to Cadwell. And now we've got Braden Russ. Russ throws up a shot, doesn't go. Ball plinkos back out. Three-pointer taken, missed by Cadwell. Cats come down with it. 42 seconds, plenty of time. X double team, gets it over to the Prez. Tyler from the foul line. 
Over to X. X going to take another three. Doesn't drop. Rebound Hazen. Baker got in front. Didn't give him the easy shot as Griffin was streaking down through here. Foul called on Jaden Baker with 28.4 left, and that's going to send uh, Griffin to the line. Hazen leading 2017. Off on his first free throw. Makes good on his second one. Makes it a two-point lead for Hazen. Stolen away. Put back up. Hazen caught napping. Braden Russ. 20-20 game. 20 seconds left. Inside. Tyler doesn't get it to roll. Still time. Tyler comes back out. Taken away. Tie up. What are we going to have? Jump ball. Possession arrow gives the ball to White River, so I guess they did call a tie-up as it was Braden Russ and Tyler Rebard inside. 8.2 left. See if the catch defense can keep White River from scoring here and keep this game tied at the end of the first. They're going to press hard. Five seconds. Underneath, turnaround, blocked out. Tyler Rebard. The block, 1.1 left in the first. Still going to play D for 1.1 seconds more, boys. Turn around, quick shots off, and at the end of one, it is the Hazen Union Wildcats and the White River Wildcats in a whale of a ball game. Game tied 2020. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV, Channel 1080 on your cable dial streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Kurt on camera, sponsors Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522, We Sport Hazen Athletics, and the Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org, jumpstart your future. What a game we got going here tonight, folks. Division three quarterfinal action. Winner looking to punch their ticket to the odd. I believe they play, if I can find my uh, my program here. Got a program. Can't tell day from a night without a program. They will play the winner. Whoever wins this game plays the winner of the Thetford for Jens game that is also being played tonight. And once again, they will play next Thursday, March 9th at the fabled Barry Auditorium. White River came to play. They're going to drive all this way and uh, and not put in an effort. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Student section comes alive. Let's line them up and play quarter number two. Both teams back and forth action. White River went ahead. Hazen came back. And seesawed back and forth there towards the end. X-Man off on that three-pointer. Rebound, Mitchett. Gets it back out. Jaden Baker. Inside Mitchett. Gets it back to X. Here's Gabe. Wants to go inside. Put up the shot. Gabe Mitchett basically walked inside there for that layup to give Hazen a two-point lead with 7.27 left to go here in the first. We're here on the near side. That's Frary. Trying to get it back out. Gabe Mitchell gets in front. Nicely handled by Braden Russ. Russ throws up a shot. Three-pointer. Five points for Braden Russ. White River with a one-point lead now. And going to get called on a hand check. Glenn Dringris calls it on number four, Wyatt Cadwell. And we got Reed Penta coming in and Braden White coming out for 
White River. Looks like uh, Coach Craven may be going for a speed lineup here. He's got a lot of, looks like a lot of guys that can really go up and down the floor. Coach Hill with his power lineup of the two Mitchett boys and Tyler on the inside and X and Jaden on the outside. We got power against speed, it looks like here. Baker, good on both of them. Jaden Baker, two points for the senior. Foul called on the Prez, his first. Hazen back up to that one point lead. And that's going to send the senior Zach Frary to the line. Off. Frary, second shot. Rolls off, rebound, rebound. Gets it out to X. X up to Baker. Inside the Prez. Call for the charge. White River player was set. I believe it was Clark. It was either Clark or Russ was, was set right there. Lincoln had a lot of momentum going in there. Foul again, referee John Diebold. Call on Jaden Baker. Both teams in the bonus be shooting one and ones. And we got Brendan Moody getting ready to check back in. I gotta believe he's gonna go in for Jaden. Jaden's got two now. First shot, Braden Russ, sophomore. And the Prez comes off and then goes Ryan the Little Lion as well. Here's Russ. Sinks them both. Seven points for the sophomore, Braden Russ. And we have another foul. As Reed Penta called for a foul. So we have a foul fest going on right now on the floor with the uh, White River leading Hazen 25-24 with 6.33 left to go here in the first half. Rivard at the line. Tyler Rivard hits the front end of the one and one. White River commits one more foul. It'll be double bonus time. We'll be shooting two. 6.33 left to go in the first half. That's a long time to be shooting foul shots. We capitalize. Rivard, short on that one. Gabe Mitchell with the follow-up. Gabe Mitchell, Gabe the Big Blue Ox. Makes it a two-point lead for Hazen. 6.25 left to go in the first half. White River's been able to answer the call, though. Ryan the Little Lion playing D over there. X turns to try to do a little bit of a pick and roll, I believe. Loses his footing, or they're going to call a block. Griffin goes down. They're going to uh, call uh, Gabe Mitchett on the block. Referee's right there. Cr hometown crowd isn't happy, but you know what? Referee was standing right there. Xander Clark back in for White River. Griffin at the line. Shoots the, hits the first one. Twelve points for Tate and Griffin. Moody, wide open for the three, gets fouled. Uh, Zach Frary going went flying really high to try and get the block. Now I believe when he, if he get fouled shooting a three, I think you get three shots. Yes, referee uh, John Diebold holding out three fingers, so Moody's going to get three shots at the foul line here. 
Sinks the first one. Pushes the lead back up to two. 6.03 left here in the first half. Moody good on his second one. This is the way you do it, folks. Don't leave the points at the line. Make them every chance you get. I think every point's going to count tonight. Moody, three for three. Clutch. He's got two threes and three ones. Nine points for Brendan Moody. Floater doesn't go. And Moody goes in and draws a charge. Charge called on Braden Russ, his second. Hazen up four. Ryan the little lion on the inbounds. Gets it into Brendan. Back over. X. Cats press break. Double team. Moody inside. Revard gets fouled. Foul called on Wyatt Cadwell, and that'll send Tyler Revard to the line. Shooting two with 5.46 left to go here in the first half. Revard. Tyler, uncharacteristic. Lee, a little cold tonight from the free throw line. Usually he is dead on. Second shot. A little more arc, a little more roll. He gets that one. Four points for Tyler Revard. White River defense not giving Revard much inside. Looking inside for Frary. Ball goes over him. Off a Hazen player. White River retains possession. In comes Donovan, Craven, and Frary going to come out. Moody goes over to play the inbounds man. Inside quickly to Griffin. Griffin turns, spins, puts up shot, block! Tyler Revard, rejection! Revard. X, blocked out by White River. Block for a block. Griffin, anybody going to catch him? No. Nobody caught him. Tyler tried to get up in there. Inside, Tyler. Reverd and Craven get tied up inside, and coach uh, referee Glenn Jingris having some words with both of them. I don't need anybody tossed for anything foolish tonight. He already had the foul, and Coach Hill telling him too. Telling Tyler, calm it down. 31 28. Tyler hits his first one. Five points for the senior. 5.06 left to go. Rebard off on that one. Rebound, White River. Russ, Braden Russ looking over, far side. Craven inside, puts it up, and he gets fouled. going to send Donovan Craven to the line. Sully Laflemme getting ready to check in. First shot off. Both teams leaving points, a lot of points at the free throw line. The Prez checks back in. Gabe comes out. Brendan comes out. Sully Laflemme goes in for him. Four-point lead, 4.54 left. Craven shooting his second shot from the free throw line. Gets the roller. Donovan Craven, his first points of the game. Three-point lead for Hazen. 4.50 left to go here in the first half. Stolen away. Inside. Blah, rejection. Revard. 
Tyler diving for it. Ball still loose. And that's going to roll out. And I believe it's going to go back to White River. But what an exchange right there is both bodies on the floor. X-Man and Tyler diving to try and get that one. Cat's going to let White River come across. Meet him at half court. Griffin swings it over. Quick pass. Three-pointer. Off. And the ball goes to Coach Hill pleading his case. He wants a foul for the White River guy going up over the back of Tyler. But Diebold saying, no, I don't see it. Jinger standing right there. White River inbounds. Puts up a three. That one's off. Tyler with the rebound. And Xander Clark has just drawn his fourth foul. And Coach Craven just got a technical. And the White River fans are not happy. They wanted a tie up as that became Clark's fourth foul. Tyler's going to shoot two shots. Jingris over talking to coach DJ Craven. They really wanted a tie up on that exchange. Tyler off. Gets it on a second. Wow. I didn't think it was going to drop. Bounced around there like a Plinko chip on the Price is Right. Strong on a second one. And now X will go up and shoot two. X-Man. Call him Iceman. X short on a second one. So in the end, Hazen hits two out of four, pushes their lead to five with 4.17 left to go. Coach DJ Craven, I believe, has to sit the rest of the game now and watch that he doesn't draw that second tentacle or else he's out of here. See if Hazen can gain a little momentum because they got the ball, too, in addition to hitting the foul shots. Axe keeps it from going back across, almost had a backcourt. Real aggressive defense out here by White River. Double team in every player who gets the ball. X is going to pick that one up. We're going to have a foul. Dringers right in front. Calls Tayton Griffin. That's his first. Going to send X to the line. A lot of points left at the free throw line tonight. A lot of points. Uncharacteristic for Hazen. We're usually a pretty good free throw shooting team. Gets a roller on the second one. 13 unofficial for the X-Man. Cats up six, 343 left to go in the first half. White River's been able to answer the bell. Turn around, nope. Foul called on the press, his third. Both teams going to be in foul trouble here. Both teams in double bonus. So Russ is going to be shooting two. That one off. Russ, second shot, off. We had a violation, I believe, called by Jim Francis. 
Ryan the Little Lion on the inbounds. White River presses. Sort of presses. Yeah, they press. X. Tyler. Over to Lincoln. Quick hands by White River. I got to say, they've been disrupting our, our dribbling all night. X. Free for the three. X. Xavier Hill. The X-Man. I've made comparisons to his Larry Bird pass, and now he's shooting threes like Larry out there. 38-29, nine-point lead for Hazen. Three minutes left to go in the first half. Still a lot of ball game here, though. Short jumper taken by Braden Russ. Cuts it to six. Drops it inside, Ryan the Little Lion. Xavier Hill, free for another three. Keep feeding him, boys. The X-Man. Five three-pointers, and Coach DJ Craven wants a timeout. A full timeout as Hazen has jumped out to a 10-point lead with 2.30 left to go in the first half. Xavier Hill, five three-pointers in this first half. Nineteen points overall for Xavier Hill. Brendan Moody with nine. Jaden Baker with two. Tyler Rivard uh, just uh, six. They've held Tyler in check inside very well. Gabe Mitchell with four. Over on the other side, it's uh, Tate Griffin with two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven, fourteen. Unofficial. These are all unofficial. Wyatt Cadwell with two. Xander Clark with five. Donovan Craven with one. And Braden Russ with uh, two, four, seven, nine. Unofficially. What a game. Quarterfinal action here from the Den. Hazen Union looking to go back to back. Won it all last year. But they have their work cut out for them tonight against a very tough, tenacious White River Valley Wildcat team. 2.30 left to go in the first half. Hazen up 10. White River on the inbounds. Cadwell inside. Turn around. Back out off the, off the basket. Turnover. Hazen with the ball. X gets it over. Ryan the little line up to Lincoln. Tyler backs out. Feeds X. X takes a long three. Oh, that would have been a dagger if it would have gone. Ryan the Little Lion battling inside. And we got a whistle. Dringers blowing his whistle. Bow called on Braden White is going to send Ryan the Little Lion to the line. Shooting two with 2.07 left. And both teams showing a little, I don't know. They're not making the free throws is what they're not doing. That makes the second one. Okay, I'll give them that one. 11-point lead, 205 left in the first. But so, so many points left at the free throw line. That went off. That was, that was Laflem getting the ball up to the press. Tyler with the follow. Three white jerseys in there. Tyler trying to get up. And he and uh, Braden Russ have been tying up inside there all game long. They're going to call a jump ball. Possession arrow will give the ball to White River. Russ gets up limping. Diebold talking to, to Coach Craven again. Goes through the hands of Cadwell. They get it back. There's Cadwell. Pass inside. White River moving the ball well, trying to free up that shot. Blocked. Is it blocked or they call a push? 
Uh, still, he's still going to go to the line shooting two. Getting a double bonus. Who's the foul going to be on? And Diebold talking to a fan down in front. All right, the foul's called on X. That's his first. We've got uh, Tate and Griffin at the line. He'll shoot two. We have a fan for White River being threatened with ejection. Griffin makes his first shot. Griffin hit some free throws tonight. Griffin, Griffin has hit some free throws tonight. Bring us over here at the scores table. I still don't know what's happening. Double dribble. Double dribble called with 118 left. White River with the ball. Trailing 42-33. Griffin's had the hot hand. Three-pointer. Doesn't go. Rebound. Ryan the Little Lion Morrison. Gets it over to X. One minute left to go here in the first half. LaFlemme, double team, gets it over. Morrison open. Was looking for the Prez inside. Wanted the Prez inside. Threw it through his hands. Tyler was sort of open too, but... This White River defense closes so fast, I don't know if he'd have, it would have taken a perfect pass to get it in there. Griffin goes over. Craven. Craven with the floater inside. The entire White River crowd wanted a backcourt. White River ends up with the ball anyway. 25 seconds. Hazen giving them some chances here late in the, late in the half. Revard with the, uh, no, that's Sully LaFlemme with the rebound. And they're going to call a foul. Braden White, I believe that's four for Braden White. Sully LaFlemme, freshman, will go to the line shooting two. Sully. Did everything but drop through the hoop. That ball was halfway down the cylinder. Zach Frary checks in, and White checks out. LaFlemme's second one, rolls out, rebound, rebound, tries to go back up, Tyler again. Tyler just willed it up inside there. 14 seconds left. Frary dips inside, pass over. Boy, that was a bullet. Puts a floater up over, gets the roll, Braden Russ, nice shot. Nice shot by Braden Russ. And that'll end the first half. With your Hazen Union Wildcats leading 44-37 over the White River Valley Wildcats and a barn burner of a game. This has been a fantastic game here in the first half. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 1080 on your cable dial streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Sponsors tonight, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Kurt on camera. We'll be back in time for the second half. Okay, and we are about less than one minute away now from the start of the second half. It is your Hazen Union Wildcat boys up by a 44-37 score over the White River Valley Wildcats here in the quarterfinal action from the den. Hazen Union High School in Hartford, Vermont. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 1080 streaming worldwide and archived on your cable dial. 
At www.hctv.us, yes, sponsors, Bubble Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. For Hazen, Brendan Moody with nine, Jaden Baker with two, Xavier Hill with 19, courtesy of five threes. Tyler Rivard with eight, Gabe Mitchell with four, Ryan Morrison with one, Lincoln Mitchell with one. Over on the other side for White River, Tayton Griffin has 16. Um, Wyatt Cadwell with two, Xander Clark with five, Donovan Craven with three, Braden Russ with 11. And we saw a lot of action in that first half. Just unbelievable back and forth stuff going on. We saw a technical foul. We saw a fan get talked to. We saw bodies on the floor. We saw some great scoring, some fantastic defense. I'll tell you, both these teams match up really, really well. This second half is going to be a barn burner. Revard inside. This team has defense Tyler as well as I have seen any team defense him in quite a while. Rivard can't get it to roll. And they're going to call. Donovan Craven, his third. So I believe we've got a couple of players for White River and a little bit of foul trouble. I know the Prez has Brendan Moody opens up the second half score with a three-pointer, makes it a 10-point lead. I know the Prez has three fouls on him, and I think Baker's got either two or three. X with the position, draws the charge. <laughs> packed, packed house. Winner of this game goes on to play next Thursday at the odd. X, red hot from the three-point land. Swings it over, here's Jaden Baker. Moody blocked. Moody gets the rebound though, puts up the shot one, puts up the soft one. Nice block though by Griffin. Moody collects down the rebound. He scored all five points so far here in the second half. Putting up, cats up 12. I think Brendan might be playing with three as well. So Griffin scoops inside, nice roll. Tayton Griffin. Taken away. Press break not working on that time. Griffin, they're going to free him up for a three. That's not going to drop. Rebound, Rebard. Surrounded. And we've seen him and Braden Russ going mano a mano inside there. Russ, a big, strong kid. He's had Tyler tied up two or three times. There we go. Inbounds White River. Cadwell on the inbounds, drops it in. Russ, Baker on him. Russ, back over to Cadwell. Cadwell cross courts, Frary. And Braden Russ shot in the foul. Some nice passing by White River. Perez is going to check in. Baker's going to come out. As Jaden does now have three. Okay, he was playing with two. He's got three. Braden Russ looking to complete the three-pointer the old-fashioned way. Short. Rebound, Rivard. Eight-point lead. Gabe Mitchett inside. Foul. Gabe Mitchell to go to the line. Foul called on Wyatt Cadwell, his third. We saw both teams going to double bonus in the uh, first half. Everything but drop. Let's 
Second shot. Good. Five points for Gabe Mitchell. Ball tipped, still came down with it. Still fighting. Still fighting. He's covering it. Uh, and Craven gets a timeout. That's a 30 second timeout as the uh, ball was, we've seen that ball ping ponging around in there. A lot of times, I like playing bumper pool out there with this ball on the floor sometime. 5.42 left to go in the third quarter. Cats up to 50 to 41, I believe. White River will have the ball coming out of this timeout. Once again, winner of this game goes on to play the semifinal next Thursday, March 9th, against another team, uh, Fetford and Virgins playing tonight. They're going to punch their ticket to the Mary Ah to make the semifinal. Cats looking to go back to back. Cats finished up with 16 and three record. And uh, then Wallop Stowe here the other night. That did not go the way that uh, White River wanted it to go. Casual Hazen coming down with it. X, soft floater. A travel call? A travel called by Jim Francis. I didn't think he had possession of the ball long enough to get a travel. Coach Hill can't believe it. I don't think Tyler ever had the ball enough. Maybe they said he came down with it. I don't know. Tyler breaks up that pass. X. And Braden White uh, has fouled out. Uh, junior is not happy. White gave him some nice size inside. Matched up with Tyler very well. Fouls out with 5.21 left to go here in the third. Hazen up 50-41, but nine-point lead isn't going to suffice against these guys. Reed Penta back in for White River. Gabe inside passes back out. X, red, red. He is en fuego. En fuego from three point land tonight is Xavier Hill. Six three pointers for the junior. Turnaround. Doesn't go. Mitchett wants to come down with it. That'll go off a White River player. I think it was either Penta or. Uh, Frary. And Penta's going to come out. Gabe Mitchett crossover. Moody going to go in, throw up a shot. And Hazen will get possession on that one as Donovan Craven was trying to play inside against Tyler. And co uh, referee Glenn Chingris. Having some words with Craven. X inside. Mitchin not there. Couldn't get it to drop. Tyler shot in the foul. Vintage Tyler Rebard right there. Foul called on Braden Russ, his third, with 4.33 left to go in the third. Cats up 55 41. Tyler, uncharacteristically, a little cold from the free throw line in the first half. And Colder still here in the second half. Ball down on the floor again. Jump ball, possession arrow gives the ball to Hazen. I don't think I've ever seen so many bodies on the floor chasing the ball tonight as I have in this game. Both teams just laying it all out. X, top of the key. Frary comes out. Russ comes out. X, short. Rebard with a rebound going back up again. And stripped out.
Tyler, 10 points tonight. Like I said, they've held him in check pretty well all game, but he's still out there creating the havoc that he does inside. Russ puts up a three-pointer off the back of the rim. X comes down with a rebound. X switches to the left hand. Goes up, throws up the left hand, and shot in the foul. Oh, Xavier Hill putting on a clinic out here. On, wow. I tell you, I saw X hit two clutch free throws last year in the final, in the semifinal against Williamstown. And, man, that was a play right there. X. Oh, I would have liked to have seen him get that three-pointer. Ball still out on the floor. Wildcats with the ball. Goes out off of White River. Craven down there fighting for it. 351 left to go in the third. Cats up 57-41. I still am not comfortable. Screen, one of those illegal screen thingies uh, called on the Prez, and that is Lincoln Mitch's fourth foul. So 3.51 left to go in the, here in the third. I think Coach Hill's going to get him out pretty quick. They're going to put in Ryan the Little Lion, and Lincoln's going to have to sit on the bench. Rare that you see Lincoln get in a foul trouble like this, particularly this early. I mean, with 3.51 left to go, this, we still got a whole a lot of ball game. We're in a quarter and a half here left to go. Here's Russ, X on him. Ryan comes out, works with Cadwell. Gonna call Ryan on the block. No, they're gonna call. They called, uh, yeah, Ryan. Thought it was on. Okay, Russ on the inbounds. Back, Frary. No, that's, uh, excuse me, that's uh, Cadwell. Wyatt Cadwell, a sophomore for White River. Russ goes inside, puts up a shot, doesn't get it to go. I almost thought he traveled the way he kind of hopped. Tyler, pass under. Gabe Mitchin. You can tell Tyler wanted to go coast to coast, but with Gabe Mitchin that wide open, that close under the hoop. Team basketball right there. And ball goes out of bounds. Penta loses it out of bounds. X over to Ryan. Pitches up to Tyler. Moody holds up. X thought about taking it. Got a couple players at him. Moody wide open for a three. Brendan Moody. Four three-pointers in the game, two in each half currently, and the Cats up 62-41. Streaking inside, Griffin, nice play. 20 points for Tate and Griffin. Gabe Mitchin. And they call him for the charge. As Reed Penta got position inside, gave the big blue ox. Bowled him over inside. White River inbounds. 225 left to go in the third. Catch up 62-43. Turnaround. Three-pointer. Wyatt Cadwell, five points. He's a sophomore. Moody, wide open once again. Nice, nice hesitation by Gabe Mitchin. Gabe Mitchin let the defender go by. Scores the easy hoop. I saw a highlight one of Pete Maravich doing that, and I love that play. Just hesitate, let your defender fly by, and lay it up in for the easy hoop. Cadwell, Morrison on him, gets it over. Braden Russ, turnaround, fights his way in. Ball doesn't drop. Russ with it again. I think that was blocked out by X. 
And White River still coming away with it. Cadwell. In the end, we got a whole lot of action down there. We got 120 left to go here in the third. No fouls called. Referee's letting them play. They call Reed Penta on the screen, the illegal screen. Jaden Baker checks in. Ryan the Little Lion out. One ten left to go in the third. X short. Gabe Mitch a drop inside. Tyler doesn't get it to go. Rebound up again. Tyler's going to go to the line shooting two. 106 left. Foul called on Braden Russ, his fourth. 106 left to go in the third. Cats up 64 46. Tyler. Seen him miss a lot of three throws. It'd be nice to see him start hitting them down the stretch here. Uh, we'll be shooting one and ones as we'll be in the bonus. White River with 18 fouls. Cats still got a ways to go, only four. So double bonus with 106 left to go in the third. We'll take it. Tyler short on that one. 65 46. Griffin with a three short. Brendan Moody up to get that one. 50 seconds left to go here in the third. See if they run the clock or if they take the shot. Tyler back out. Baker's going to try and three. The butcher, the baker, the three-point maker. His first three-pointer of the game. Cats extend their lead 68-46. 35 seconds left here in the third. Penta inside. Got it up over Tyler. And we've got a jump ball possession arrow. Gives the ball to White River. As I think it was Brendan Moody and Paul Andre Andrade in there now for White River. Braden Russ out. Four fouls on Russ. 23.4. Quick shot. Penta, no, doesn't go. Baker with Penta on him. Grips it over. Brendan Moody. Brendan Moody. Third three-pointer of the second half. Cats cruising, 71-46. Griffin, shot inside, doesn't go. Griffin gets his own rebound. Trying to do something, and time's going to expire here in the third with the Cats. Wildcats, the Hazen Union Wildcats, extending their lead over the White River Valley Wildcats. Score 71-46. What a ball game. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 1080 on your cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Our sponsors tonight, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hayes Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Kurt on camera tonight. And once again, I mentioned it in the first half, we want to really talk about the fine, fine season that our Lady Cats had this year. They went down to the odd last night, played in the semifinal, ran into a buzzsaw and a Thetford Panther team. But uh, I tell you what, they only lost two games. JV was undefeated. A lot of accolades coming in. Caitlin Davison, Player of the Year in the Mountain Division. Randy Lumsden, Coach of the Year. Bunch of players making first, second, third team. We had a Presidential Scholar on the team, and Haley Mitchell, who will graduate this year. Great stuff going to happen for the Hazen Union Lady Cats. All right, we got eight minutes left. 71-46, I don't know. He got some, some White River players in foul trouble. Coach Cravens had to go into his bench. See what happens. Tyler, can't get it to go. Tyler, again, Rivard. Twenty-six. No, that, that's Xavier. 
I give that to the wrong person. Tyler with, uh, blocked out by Griffin. Tyler with 13 unofficial. I think I've lost track of some points out here, so I'm not going to give point totals out anymore because I honestly believe I've lost track. I think I gave X a couple of Tylers. I might have given somebody else a couple. Moody. I know I've got Brendan Moody's right. And I know Brendan Moody's hit four three-pointers in the second half to go along with a two in the first half, and we get, we're up 30. Nice move inside. Andre, double team. Back out to Griffin. Andre going to put up a three-pointer. Short. Rebound Gabe Mitchett. Over to Tyler Rivard. Pass over. Wide open underneath. Baker, the butcher, the baker, the shot maker. Yeah, I'm giving wrong points to everybody here. I believe Jaden's got seven, but I could be so off. I'm, I'm really mixing up my numbers here tonight. It's exciting. Moody with the rebound. I don't know if it, Diebold, Diebold, sorry, Diebold. John Diebold with the whistle. Foul called on Paul Andrade. Zach Frary comes out. Lead Penta out. I didn't see who else came off. We got some new players in here. See if I can get you some names. We got Xander Clark, Braden Russ. Uh, Wyatt Cadwell in. Donovan Craven. And Tayton Griffin. For your Wildcats, it's Tyler, Rivard, Xavier Hill, Brendan Moody, Gabriel Mitchett, and Jaden Baker. Three-pointer. Donovan Craven, his first points of the second half. He's got six overall. Moody. X swings it over to Baker. Baker back up to X. Six minutes left to go in your ball game. Cash just slowing it down, running some clock. Moody. Man, all the kid does is shoot threes. Five, three, one, two, three, four. I got him with five in this half. 81 49. Dip inside, doesn't go. Tyler up for the rebound. Foul called on Wyatt Cadwell, his fourth. And Tyler will go to the line, shooting two as we're in a double bonus. White Rivers committed 10 team fouls. 5.36 left to go in your ball game. Cats up 81-49. Tyler Rebard. It could be 25 points. I, I honestly don't know. I probably should just not give it. As far as official scoring. But nice to see him hitting his free throws. Rivard. Ty Slamma Jamma! Ty Slamma Jamma with 5.20 left to go in the game. I've been waiting on that one all year long. Coach DJ Craven wants to take a timeout, talk things over with his team. Cats up 85-49. Of course, the Ty Slamma Jamma play on the Five Slamma Jamma from that great Houston Cougars team from the early 80s, Clyde Drexler. Hakeem Elijahwan, what a team they were, even though they lost to North Carolina State. But you got to love the Thai Slamma Jamma here at the Den. Hazen Union High School in Hardwick, Vermont. On this day, I believe it was 1986, 85 or 86, Metallica. Master of Puppets released. Wildcats mastering this game right now. 
And also understand, you know, they play it every before every game. In 1931, the U.S. and the United States adopted the Star Spangled Banner as a national anthem. Star Spangled Banner Day today. Turn around inside. Doesn't go. Rebound, Rebard. Five minutes left to go. X, Rebard, go back and forth. Rebard, no look pass. Moody. And then Moody. Just lighten them up. I, 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 remember the night that Michael Jordan hit all the three pointers against Port, I believe they were playing the Blazers in the uh, in the final. That's Brendan Moody right now. Six three pointers in the second half. Two in the first half. That's nine, uh, eight. Right? One, two, three, four, five. Eight three pointers overall. Once again, six in the second half. The Prez checks in. Gabe Mitchett comes out. 4.44 left to go. Prez with four fouls. Cats up 88-49. Poked out by Rivard. Russ working against X. Russ throws up the floater. Doesn't go. Rebound Rivard. Gets it over to X. X pass inside the Prez. Patented pass game of the Wildcats. 90-49. 4.20 left to go in the game. We're going to ring up 100 tonight. I don't know if I've ever called a game with, where we've scored 100. I don't think I have. Griffin, turn around inside. Nice shot. Tate and Griffin. He's got 22 unofficial. In the game. Moody takes a three-pointer from the stands. Oh, my Lord. Brendan Moody putting on a clinic of three-point shooting tonight. Russ is going to try a three. That one's short. Follow-up blocked out. Foul called on Tyler Rebard. That's his first. So Brendan Moody right now with nine three-pointers in the game. Seven in the second half. He's a sophomore. He is en fuego. Your score is 93-51 with 3.45 left to go here. Rattles in, Cadwell. See if they're going to take another one off the top of the hoop, but he got fouled. Now we'll go to the line and shoot three. First time this happened, he went to the line and made all three of his free throws. So we get a timeout or something. I, yeah, I got to look up. Misses the first one. Trying to get into uh, Coach Hill's record book as he misses the second one. Trying to get into Coach Hill's record books as Xavier Hill comes out. Xavier has just put on a clinic tonight. Moody good on his last free throw. And Brendan Moody comes out with nine three-pointers. Some free throws. That's all he scored. Oh, he had one two-pointer. Unofficial. I'm looking up the three-point three position. I'm looking for single-game records here. Single-game records. Okay, I'm going to try and call this game and try to figure if I can figure this out. That one's off. Rebound underneath. Shot doesn't go. Rebound, Rivard. That one rolls out. All right. Brendan right now, if I've done this right, here comes Tyler off with 3.15 left. Crowd cheers. If I have done this correctly, if I have counted them right, 
Brendan has tied Andrew Demers with nine three-pointers. The record is 11 by Dan Judkins. As that shot rolls in, I did not see who put it in. I'm, I apologize to White River for that. I was looking down at the record book, so. Uh, anyways. Cat's just cruising right now. Sally LaFlemme into Ryan, the little lion. He's going to get fouled. Or no, they're going to call a foul. So just, <laughs> you know, like I said, tied for second now is Brendan Moody. Unofficially, unofficially. I'm not sure. I may have missed something somewhere there. But I think if I've scored them all correctly. Jingris waves that one off. Foul called on Ryan Morrison, his second. Xavier unofficial with 24. Tyler unofficial with uh, 26. 15, I think, but I, I, I had points mixing up in there. Craven makes his first free throw. Craven good on his second shot as well. It's at 94-56, 2.34 left. Turnaround, underneath, shot in. Morgan Mitchell, Justin Morgan, had a horse. Here's Griffin, puts up a floater, gets it to go. Tayton Griffin's played a whale of a game. I got him with 24 unofficially. That pass goes through the hands of the Prez. A little rambunctious out here, boys. 2.03 left. Cats up 96.58. That one doesn't go. Rebound underneath. Blocked out by Morrison. Russ gets it back. Going to take a three. In and out. Sully LaFlemme gets it over to Baker. White River Press. Baker. A inside. Ryan the Little Lion. Baker looking like, I don't know, who was the guy that used to dribble it for, for the Globe Trials? Curly Neal? Cats up 40. Quarterfinal. And... Baker commits his fourth foul. I mean, it would be only fitting. And Jaden Baker comes off the floor, senior. Assistant coach, his dad, Mike Baker, right there. Got to be an emotional moment for him. Damian Morrison checks in for the Hazen Union Wildcats. As uh, Craven hit both those free throws. 115 left. Morrison, pass over. Sully LaFlemme. Back out, turn around, Morrison wants to go up inside. Jingris waves off the shot. Morrison will go to the line, shooting two with 106. And Xander Clark, sophomore, comes off for White River. Played a good game. And Lincoln Mitchell, the Prez, coming off the floor here at the Den. Our three seniors, Jaden Baker, Tyler Rivard, and Lincoln Mitchell. Morrison off on that first one.
Makes a second one. 99-60 is your score. One minute left to play in this game. Chance of Barry Odd coming up. Morgan Mitchell bringing it down. Pass inside. And we got a charge. Morgan Mitchell with the charge. 52.7. Dawson Poland going in for White River. Wyatt Cadwell comes out. We've got uh, Paul Andrade, Reed Penta, and Braden Russ. And pass gets away. 44.3 left to go in the ball game. Cats will have the ball. Griffin going to stay back and play a little D. They get it in. Damian Morrison puts up a three. Doesn't go. Russ coming up with Ryan the Little Lion. Underneath. Poland. Dawson Poland, the freshman, makes a hoop. Coach Hill wants him to just hold the ball. He's telling him to hold it. Ryan saw him. He's just going to pass it around. Run the clock. And they're going to call a foul on Andrade. Coach Hill just trying to run the clock. Sully Laflemme at the line with 6.6. He's going to shoot two. And Sully Laflemme, the freshman, makes it to the century mark for the Wildcats. Aiden Downing going to go in for White River. And Tayton Griffin comes out. 24 points unofficially for the junior. Played a great, great game. Never gave up. Kid is drenched. LaFlemme. Second free throw is good. 101-62. 6.6 left. And this is about going to do it, folks. And your reigning, defending, undisputed Division Three champion of Vermont Hazen Union Wildcats are going back to the odd. Next Thursday, September 9th, they await the winner of the thetford Virgins game. Chance to go back to back. They're one step closer with this victory tonight. Your final, 101-62. This has been Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 1080 on your cable dial, streaming worldwide on archive at www.hctv.us. Kurt on camera. Our sponsor tonight, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hayes Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. And once again, this is where I take a moment and thank everybody that is involved with Hazen Union Wildcat basketball. This will be our last broadcast from the Den this year. It has been an amazing season. The girls making it to the semifinals last night. Coming up a little short, but they will be back. The boys with it going to the semifinals next week with a chance to repeat. And once again, just everybody that's involved, the student section, the, the coaches, the parents, our new AD, Olu, who really... Uh, Got baptism this season with these with these teams. Um, it's just once again, and our sponsors and everybody that watches, everybody that comments, and everybody that comes to the games. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We could not be us without you. We'll see you come spring baseball. Live every moment. Love every day. Bye bye.